Whew, that's better. Um, hey, what's up guys? It's me, Joe here again today. Anyway, I've got a new MacBook Pro uh, Retina 15 inch laptop and I did a very lengthy edit on it all night, last night. And I wanted to share with you guys this video to see how powerful, how long the MacBook takes to uh, render a pretty large project file. One of the largest ones that I've ever done before, which involves lots and lots of tiny little clips and from multiple cameras from my 70D, from a GoPro, from an iPhone, from a uh, Samsung Galaxy phone, from a Sony NEX5. Basically, we went on a holiday and everyone had their own camera, so we got tons and tons of footage. Anyway, the editing part was very smooth, uh, but today I just want to quickly hit the uh, render or encode button because I'm finally finished with the video and I just want to share with you guys on how long it might take. Fingers crossed it won't take too long, so let's get straight to it. So here we are then, I've got my uh, Final Cut project open here and as you can see there is uh, quite a lot of clips, in fact there is um, 894 clips and as I mentioned before it's from a range of cameras all bunched into one project files and even though the video total length is only 30, 32 minutes or so but yeah, it comes from a lot of different cameras, so there's lots of different frame rates and codecs and different compressions, but it seems to... I didn't have any troubles during the edit, it didn't slow down or anything. And so what I'm going to do now is stop the uh, screen recording and I'll continue with the start the rendering and see how long the whole process will take. So as you can see, uh, I have got the rendering going now and it's at 20% and it's only been 1 minute and 50 seconds. I have. I have to record this through another camera because I don't want to have the um, QuickTime movie capture screen flow, whatever you want to call it, running in the background just in case it zaps any of the processing power. Um, but yeah, it is going pretty quickly. It's already at 25% at two minutes. I don't know if it's because um, it Final Cut uses a lot of the graphics card for the rendering instead of the CPU, but as you can see, it's only at 30% or so. I've got 16 gig on this. Again, it's not using that much memory, um, like hardly any at all. And um, energy, you can see that it, the graphics card is on the high performance mode, which I guess it's using it to do a lot of the rendering. Well, the system is definitely not lagging or anything, despite I'm using the MacBook as the main source and I'm also driving a second screen on it via the new Thunderbolt cable. Pretty cool, eh? But, yeah, we shall see. I'll keep you updated in a minute. It's been 3 minutes and 40 seconds and currently it's almost 45%. So I highly doubt this is going to take a long time at all. But I'll keep you posted. <coughs> there, done. 8 minutes and 2 seconds, as you can see here. Um, I was hoping that it would be that quick, but I'm also quite astonished that it was that quick because I remember a few years back when I had an old computer where it used to take over 10 minutes just to render like three clips together with no effects whatsoever on that was on premiere i believe on a quite long machine yeah I, I tried to edit a video with just a couple of clips only 10 20 seconds the actual video length but it would take over 10 minutes to render but here to have this almost a thousand clip uh lengthy video with lots of um, tweaks and um, small effects on it taking less than 10 minutes to render is incredibly quick so I'm quite astonished by that but yeah as you can see the video is completely rendered in full HD 1080p and uh, compressed to H26.4 whatever you call it that codec but yeah it's completely fine and done so there you have it the MacBook Pro Retina um, is incredibly fast and is completely capable at um, doing video work despite its small portable size and yeah it was mega smooth at editing and rendering time it takes less than a huge margin less than the actual length of the video to render so it's actually incredibly powerful in fact it's more powerful than my um, old iMac here so yeah it's amazing anyway uh, it's just a that's just a quick video for today I hope it was um, interesting and if you have any questions about anything uh, about the MacBook, about the iMac, about my project, about uh, Final Cut or anything, just uh, leave me a question below and I'll always try to answer them. 
Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.